For billions of years, our moon has circled Earth glowing in the night sky, driving the tides and providing humanity with endless wonder. But what if it didn't? What if Pluto replaced the moon? What if in its place there was another body altogether, something distant, exotic, and perhaps even less friendly? Today, we unravel a cosmic mystery. What would that mean for our planet's tides, our climate, and even life itself? This may sound like pure speculation, but by combining real NASA data, academic research, and a dash of imaginative science fiction, we can piece together a remarkable story of how Earth might change under a very different lunar companion. Let's begin by asking the question, why is our moon so important in the first place? To solve that riddle, we must first examine the unique role the moon has played in Earth's evolution and daily rhythms. The moon is more than just a pretty face in our night sky. Though it's small compared to Earth, it's considered abnormally large relative to the planet it orbits. Many scientists believe that Earth's comparatively big moon is crucial to stabilizing our planet's tilt and moderating our climate. The moon also produces the largest component of our tidal force, causing daily shifts in sea levels. Without these tides, countless coastal ecosystems, mangroves, intertidal zones, and salt marshes would look very different. Over geological timescales, the moon's pull has helped slow Earth's spin, lengthening our days from just 10 hours a few billion years ago to the 24 hours we experience now. So the moon is not just a glowing rock, it is an engine of equilibrium, a guardian that tethers Earth's orientation in space. But if our story has a silent hero, that hero is about to exit the stage. Let's pose the challenge, remove the moon from Earth and replace it with Pluto. Pluto, once hailed as the ninth planet, now classified as a dwarf planet in the outer reaches of our solar system. So how does it stack up against the moon? First, mass. The moon weighs in at around 1.2% of Earth's mass, while Pluto is only about 0.22% of Earth's mass, just a fraction of the moon's mass. Second, size. The moon stretches to about 3,474 kilometers in diameter. Pluto reaches only about 2,376 kilometers. Though Pluto is covered in exotic ices of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide, it is simply less massive and more icy than our moon's rocky composition. Now, picture this cosmic switch. We magically drag Pluto from the Kuiper belt to a snug orbit around Earth at roughly 384,000 kilometers, the same distance as the moon. In a purely orbital sense, Pluto would remain stable in Earth's gravitational well. But that's only half the story. The real intrigue begins when we think about the consequences for Earth. Before we dive deeper, we'd love to hear your take. What do you think would be the biggest challenge Earth would face if Pluto took the moon's place? Share your thoughts in the comments, your questions, and what if ideas can help shape future explorations. Our first clue to the new Earth is hidden in the ocean tides. The moon's gravitational pull is the single biggest contributor to the daily ebb and flow of sea levels. Pluto's much smaller mass means its tidal force would be only around one-fifth of the moon's, or even less. So, those dramatic highs and lows we see every day along coastlines would shrink. Instead of the large tidal ranges we have today, Earth's tides might become relatively modest ripples dwarfed by the tides we're used to. In some places, that means a one-meter tide could drop to just a few centimeters, overshadowed even by the sun's tidal influence. This may sound like a minor inconvenience, perhaps calmer seas for beach lovers. But from an ecological perspective, coastal wetlands and entire food webs rely on strong tidal currents. Intertidal creatures might be left high and dry or permanently submerged without the moon's robust tidal routine. Over time, this could spark a wave of extinctions along coastlines. Fewer tides also mean weaker mixing of the oceans, affecting global ocean currents. Less mixing can lead to more stagnant waters in some areas, limiting the distribution of nutrients. According to studies by oceanographers, lunar-driven tides help keep Earth's oceans in motion, influencing phenomena like the Gulf Stream. 
In our new Pluto scenario, these currents might slow, creating unpredictable knock-on effects for global climate. So, the oceans would change drastically. But what about the planet's very orientation in space? Currently, the Moon stabilizes Earth's axial tilt at a fundamental angle of about 23.5 degrees, which gives us our reliable seasons. Research from NASA and academic institutions indicates that without the Moon, Earth's tilt could vary wildly. With Pluto taking the Moon's place, its feeble gravitational pull would offer next to no stabilizing influence. Over millennia, Earth could begin to sway like a spinning top in slow motion. Our planet's tilt might wander from a near upright zero degrees, imagine no seasons at all, to a dramatic 40 or even 60 degrees, plunging one hemisphere into extreme darkness while the other basks in searing sunlight. In one era, you might have glaciers expanding toward the equator because the planet tilts in such a way that a polar region sees very little sun. In another era, the tilt might swing back and the poles would become hot zones under near-constant daylight. These shifts could happen on irregular timescales, reshaping ecosystems and rewriting the distribution of life across the globe. Our stable seasons owe a great deal to the presence of our moon. Replace it with tiny Pluto, and that stability unravels, leaving Earth's climate at the mercy of cosmic whims. Another hidden effect of the moon is how it slowly slows Earth's rotation. As Earth spins, the moon's gravity pulls on the bulging tides, creating friction that robs Earth of tiny bits of rotational energy. This phenomenon gradually lengthens our day. In a Pluto-Earth system, that effect would still exist, but on a much smaller scale. Instead of adding, say, two milliseconds to our day each century, the slowdown might be a fraction of that. Over billions of years, Earth might retain a shorter day than it would have with the Moon, a subtle effect for us, but significant for future geologic epochs. Some scientists even theorize that if Earth never had a large Moon at all, our day might still be barely 12 hours long. While Pluto does still exert some gravitational pull, it's not nearly enough to match the Moon's torque. So fast forward a few million years into a Pluto-replaced future. Earth's day might remain locked around the same length we have now or slow down only marginally. This would disrupt the evolutionary trajectory we've known. The interplay between longer days, climate, and life's diurnal cycles has shaped countless species. In this alternate timeline, that clock might tick to a different beat. Tides aren't just about water levels, they also guide animal behaviors. Some fish and turtles, for example, depend on the timing of spring tides to spawn. Corals often synchronize their mass spawning with the moon's phases. In a world with tiny Pluto overhead, that synchronization might be lost. Entire reproductive cycles could be thrown off by the lack of strong tidal cues. If we look back at the history of life on Earth, there's evidence that tidal zones served as crucial stepping stones in the evolution of land-based organisms. The repeated flooding and draining of coastal pools may have given early life a prime environment to adapt to both wet and dry conditions. Without the vigorous tides we've known, our planet's story of life might have branched out very differently. Even Earth's geology would feel changes. The moon's pull deforms Earth's crust by a few centimeters, sometimes nudging fault lines towards seismic activity. Studies have linked higher probabilities of small earthquakes or volcanic tremors to peak lunar tides. With Pluto's weaker gravity, those nudges would be significantly reduced. Still, tectonics are primarily driven by Earth's internal heat. But in a Pluto-Earth world, the minor tidal triggers that sometimes shift fault lines or stir volcanic plumbing would be muted. Everything we've covered so far is grounded in real physics and data from NASA's exploration of the Moon and Pluto. But speculation allows us to push the boundaries. Could Pluto's unique ices or trace atmosphere create unusual reflections in Earth's night sky? Might Pluto eventually become tidally locked to Earth, leading to one hemisphere of Pluto always facing us reminiscent of our current Moon? If Earth's climate grew too erratic due to tilt changes. Could future civilizations attempt to stabilize Earth's axis artificially? It's a leap toward science fiction, yet it emphasizes our deep ties to even the smallest celestial companions. By swapping the moon for Pluto, we see how everything from tides to climate to culture 
would be irrevocably altered. No major apocalypse might strike overnight, but over eons, Earth would transform in ways we can scarcely predict. Climate swings could become more erratic, day length changes might follow a new trajectory, and life as we know it would adapt or falter in the face of weaker tides and darker nights. In this cosmic what if scenario, one truth stands firm. Our moon is more than a silent satellite. It's a cornerstone of Earth's environmental balance. NASA data, geological records, and scientific studies all highlight the moon's profound influence on our planet's destiny. So the next time you look up at a full moon shining bright, remember, it's not just a light in the darkness, it's a stabilizing force, a guardian of tides and the architect of our seasons. Replace it with distant Pluto, and Earth's story would be written with very different ink. One where the comforting rhythms of our planet hang in far more precarious balance. Thanks for joining this imaginative odyssey. If you enjoyed exploring alternate realities and want to see more scientific mysteries come to life, be sure to like, subscribe, and keep gazing at that shining moon celebrating the very real wonders it bestows upon us. And while you're here, share your own what-if ideas in the comments below. What cosmic twist would you like to see explored next?